Hello and welcome. In this video lesson, we are going to discuss definition of alkene, types of carbon atoms in alkene, alkyl groups and their names in common and IUPAC system. Let us begin with the definition of hydrocarbon. As the name suggests, the organic compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen only are called as hydrocarbons. Alkene, alkene, alkyne are the examples of hydrocarbons. The saturated, aliphatic, open chain hydrocarbons are known as alkenes. The general formula for alkene is Cn H2n plus 2 where n indicates number of carbon atoms. An alkene may be straight chain, branched chain or cyclic. Consider example of n-pentane as all the carbon atoms are linked linearly. It's an example of straight chain alkene. Isopentane is an example of branched chain alkene and cyclopentane as all the carbon atoms are bonded in a cyclic way. It's a close chain alkene. Any carbon atom in alkene can be classified as follows. The carbon atom which is bonded to only one other carbon atom is called as primary carbon atom. The carbon atom which is bonded to two other carbon atoms is called as secondary carbon atom. The carbon atom which is bonded to three other carbon atoms is called as tertiary carbon atom. The carbon atom which is bonded to four other carbon atoms is called as quaternary carbon atom. Alkyl group An alkyl group or alkyl radical is derived from corresponding alkene by removal of hydrogen atom from it. The common names of alkyl groups are derived from corresponding normal or isoalkene by simply changing suffix a and e to yl that is by changing the name from alkene to alkyl. Letter R is used as a general symbol to denote alkyl group. An alkyl group has a general formula Cn H 2n plus 1 where n indicates number of carbon atoms. The first member of alkene series is methane CH4. If we remove hydrogen from carbon atom, we get CH3 group. In common and IUPAC system, it is called as methyl. Next homolog of methane is ethane. The structural formula is CH3CH3. CH3. In ethane, both the carbon atoms are primary. If we remove any one of the hydrogens, we get CH2 CH3 group. In common and IUPAC system, it is called as ethyl. Consider propane. Structural formula is CH3 CH2 CH3. It is clear from the structure these terminal carbon atoms are primary and this middle carbon atom is secondary. If we remove hydrogen from primary carbon atom, we get CH2, CH2, CH3. In common system, it is called as N-propyl. In IUPAC system, it is propyl. Similarly, if we remove hydrogen from secondary carbon atom, We get isopropyl or secondary propyl group. In IUPAC system, it is called as 1-methyl-ethyl. While considering alkyl groups from butane, we have to consider isomers of butane. Butane has two isomers, n-butane and isobutane. In IUPAC system, n-butane is known as butane. The structural formula is CH3. CH2, CH2, CH3. N-butane has two types of carbon atoms. Terminal carbon atoms are primary. 
and these middle carbon atoms are secondary if we remove hydrogen from primary carbon atom we get n butyl group in iupac system it is called as butyl all the four carbon atoms are linked linearly with unsatisfied valency on terminal carbon atom similarly if we remove hydrogen from secondary carbon atom we get secondary butyl group in iupac system it is called as 1 methyl propyl the unsatisfied valency is on secondary carbon atom another isomer of butane is isobutane in iupac system it is called as 2 methyl propane if we observe the structure 2 methyl propane has two types of carbon atoms this terminal carbon atoms are primary and this middle carbon atom is tertiary if we remove hydrogen from primary carbon atom we get isobutyl group in iupac system it is called as 2 methyl propyl the unsatisfied valency is on primary carbon atom similarly if we remove hydrogen from tertiary carbon atom we get tertiary butyl group in iupac system it is called as 11 dimethyl ethyl the unsatisfied valency is on tertiary carbon atom consider cyclopropane all the three carbon atoms are linked in a cyclic way all the carbon atoms are secondary if we remove hydrogen from any one of the carbon atoms we get cyclopropyl group in cyclobutane all the four carbon atoms are linked in a cyclic way all the carbon atoms are secondary if we remove any hydrogen we get cyclobutyl group consider methyl benzene the structure is methyl group attached to benzene ring if we remove hydrogen from ch3 we get benzyl group 